What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and we're back here in round two of the tournament. And on the mic with me, I have Vera Gunn back. Hello, Vera. Hello, Jay. How are you doing today? I'm okay. And I'm going to start this up. This is Spurious D versus Arc Trooper. This is Spurious D's world. And while that's playing, I'm going to let Vera Gunn talk about the contest that ha she has going. Well, we talked about it a little bit last time, but I figured I'd give you guys a refresher because it is still going on, and we want a lot of people to sign up for it because we got a fantastic prize. Um, over at the Fortress Craft Forums, you can sign up right now to win six months of Game Mine, and all you have to do is build the ultimate gamer's house. Now, obviously, this is open to interpretation, so you can really take this in a lot of directions. This is a simulation where... You guys can use your creativity to build something just amazing. And we're going to be selecting a winner, and that person will receive six months of the Game Mine mill rental service. All right, now Game Mine is basically you you get a game off the internet, and they send it to you, and you play it, and then send it back, right? Yeah, it's like Netflix for the mail, but with video games. There you go. That sounds like an awesome prize, and you guys already have the game. You're playing the game, so you might as well make a nice little house, enter a contest, and for the winner of the contest, if you want, I will put your video up. I'll show it. We'll talk about it, and you know that way more people do get to see it if you do win. How's that sound, Vera? Certainly. Also, the winner will be featured on Game Mind's YouTube channel. Oh, wow. There you go. So you get awesome uh, stuff right there. But speaking about awesome news, Vera... Uh, you want to tell them about the awesome news that's going on? There is some amazing news coming out right now. Um, we've actually been sitting on this for a while, but that's now we can, announce in it, we can announce it officially, so I am so pumped. We are going to MAGFest. Now, when you say MAGFest, do you want to tell these people what MAGFest <laughs> is out there? Absolutely. Oh, I see a TARDIS. I just want to point that out, because that is <laughs> awesome, but... MAGFest is this amazing convention in Baltimore. Mal uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> MAGFest <laughs> is this amazing convention in Baltimore, Maryland, and it is, as they put it, homegrown. It is very down to earth and just for indie gamers, people who really love video games, and it also features music, great video game based bands, um, great events, a uh, 24 hour game room. Just amazing. It's just an amazing convention. That's the way to describe it. And this year, they're going to be for, uh, <laughs> featuring Fortress Craft. Uh, Arcus will be there. I'll be there. Goose. Um, Hannah. Hannah our, com Hannah, our community manager, will be there. Mac will be there. Yes, yours truly, More Than After Kill, will be there hanging out with Vera, with Arcus, with the Game and Goose, and Hannah. And it's just going to be a really good time. My boyfriend Chris will be there as our assistant. He's my purse holder, so... Yeah, it'll be a good time all around. We'll be there showing off the online build of the game. It's possible that Aquaman will be there, too. Aquaman may make an appearance. Uh, you never know who you'll find cosplaying. If I see an Aquaman, I am... <laughs> shenanigans will ensue. Yes, there will be a lot of shenanigans there, because I probably have a little bag of fish so he doesn't get lonely. Yeah, yeah. He only doesn't talk to fish, you know that. <laughs> but yeah, we are uh, going to be at MAGFest, Fortress Craft is going to be there, and there's going to be all some other guests there, uh, I'm pretty sure the Angry Video Game Nerd is going to be there as well. He is, AVGN is making an appearance, as is Ellen McLean, the voice of GLaDOS, um, John St. John, the voice of Duke Nukem, um, there's a lot of really cool guests, if you just go on their site and start looking through the different people and the events they have lined up. It is, if you're a real, true gamer who just relishes in this sort of thing, this is the convention for you. Uh, it's just such a great community and such a great place to be. Um, I really encourage you, if you're on the East Coast, to take a train down, even if it's just for a day. It's such a great convention, and it's worth it. I can honestly say that I hit a lot of conventions, and this is one of the best ones out there. The, uh, the biggest thing that I'm excited for is that I saw on the site that the guy that does the uh, Final Fantasy music is going to be there. Yes, he is. And he's going to be there playing with his band. Um, so that's, there's a lot of music going on at this festival. That's why it's called MAGFest. It's the Music and Game Festival. And um, they really bring in a lot of great composers. If music and games is something you're passionate about, this is the con for you because they really embrace that. There's a lot of great uh, concerts that go on. 
And it's only uh it's it's not only for just one day. It's all it's like three or four days long if I remember. It's four days. It's Thursday through a Sunday, um January fifth through the eighth. So take advantage. Yeah, and you know, come down, hang out, check out what's around, and uh, you know, meet Mister Argus because I'm pretty sure he doesn't come to America very often. He doesn't come meet us. I, just come to the table, come hang out, come see the on live build. Um, we we'd love to talk to you. <laughs> we, yeah. we don't fight. That's what we do Argus here. That's, that's what we're doing here. We're talking to you guys right now. It's like what we love to do. Yes, absolutely. And we're just so passionate about what we do, and we hope that comes across. Um. And we really want to share it. Uh, leading up into MAGFest, I know Vera does a lot of live streaming. Uh, she recently has a capture card so she can live stream Xbox. And... Thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So I, I gave her my old Dazzle that we started, that I started this channel out with. But speaking about that, I wanted to say that leading up to MAGFest, I'm going to start holding my own, uh, my own live stream and you know we'll have all the like normal guests we'll have like vera we'll probably have arcus on because arcus is a great man when it comes to like you need somebody to partner up with real quick arcus is always down for that he is he is he's so much fun and usually we'll have like people probably like butcher boy tomo maybe element uh you know the fortress craft regulars hanging out and of course john b will be there uh, in case of you guys don't know, John B is one of my subscribers, and I felt that I need to give him this shout out because if I tweet out that I'm gonna be at any live stream or just in a chat room hanging out, he will be there. He's been coming to my live streams as well, so I just want to extend my thanks to him as well. Um, he's just a very cool guy, John B. Thank you for supporting us. Yeah, John B. That's uh, you, you deserve the shout out. So I want to uh thank you for being such a great subscriber and. Yeah, but this tournament is going on, and we have some really cool stuff going on with it. I told you guys about the new prizes that are coming out, and I also have that other contest where you guys can dual com with me. And I'll, you know, all you got to do is favorite the videos, uh, leave a comment on the video. I'll, there's a link in the description. Put it there for you, and you leave a comment, and maybe I'll bring you on to the tournament, and you know, pretty much shoot the shit like we're doing right now here with Vera. Because, I mean, you guys do make this tournament, and it would be nice to see what the actual viewers of this tournament are thinking. Oh, I'd love to hear it. I think that would be fun. Maybe I'll bring John B. on. That guy certainly <laughs> deserved it. I'd love to hear him. I would love to hear him do some commentary. But we've been watching this footage while it's going on. What do you think of the tournament so far, Vera? I, I think it's incredible. You know that. Um, I... I... I'm always just amazed. You know me and my cottage complex. This stuff makes me feel a little bit inadequate, but uh, it, it just stuns me when people are able to build like this because it's just not something I'm able to do. So this is just stunning to me, this tree. I, I, I always love watching people make trees. I know that's a weird thing, but being able to get the branches just right, that's a little more complicated than you would think. Yeah, it's kind of hard to actually get, you know, realistic landscape done without it looking, like, overly done or too simplistic, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've gone crazy trying to make a tree, so <laughs> kudos on that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was Spurious D's world, and next we're going to be going up to Arc Trooper's world. And Arc Trooper, in case you guys don't know, he's the one that has the Star Wars world. And, no way. Oh, you haven't seen Art Troopers yet, have you? No. This is his. It's called The Empire Strikes Block. Oh, my God. So we had the Doctor Who world. Now we have a Star Wars world. Are you just giving me a geek overload right now? Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan, actually. So, I mean, I don't I like really... both, so I'm happy. This is I... awesome. I've never actually seen Doctor Who. I know Arcus talks about it all the time. You talk about it all the time. <laughs> but, uh, like, when it comes to geeky things, I, I do love them, and I just haven't had a chance to because, I mean, BBC runs weird hours over here. Well, do you have Netflix? Yes, I do, actually. It's all on Netflix. You'd like it. Is it really? Yeah, you, you would enjoy it. If you like Star Wars, any sort of sci-fi stuff, you'd enjoy it. Oh, wow. Uh... I started watching it because of my boyfriend, and he's converted me, so... <laughs> Chris yeah. is a cool guy. He likes a lot of the geeky stuff that we all love. <laughs> yeah, he was my little ball of ego, so. 
The uh, the only thing that I would say about Arc Troopers World is that I wish he had some of the more original Star Wars in there. A lot of it seems to be based around Clone Wars and the uh, first mm-hmm. trilogy. And you Points know, off. yeah, in, you know, in the <laughs> Lucas, tr- you know, the, the whole Star Wars community, the, we don't talk about the first prequel trilogy. We don't talk about Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, Jar Jar ruined it all. He gave power away and just ruined everything. Misa. <laughs> he was he was very racist too. I don't care what anybody says. Jar Jar was a racist character. He was. He was just over the line. Just I, I I'm surprised they even got away with that getting that movie out with yeah. with the character written like that. I love the way he has those ships flying. That's a good use of the um custom animations. Yeah, I love the custom animations that people people are coming up with new and unique ways to use them too. Uh, I know a guy that does use the fountain. I, I you know the uh, fountain block. It looks like water spawners. He mm-hmm. uses that, and there's like a glitch in the game where if you step inside one, it right. pushes you along. So he's made that to make a water slide, and you <laughs> stand on it, and it just pushes you down the uh, the slide, and it looks really cool. That's great. I love this little bay he has built right here. I, I played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront. It's like a child. I still play it now. I just got it from Steam, Star Wars Battlefront 2. So this reminds me a lot of that, like the um, docking bays and all that. Uh, I've never actually paid, played Star Wars Battlefront, which is odd because I love, you know, first-person shooters and I love Star Wars, but it seems that the Star Wars games that I have played as a kid got where they were pretty, pretty shitty. I'm on I agree. Uh, but try Battlefront 2 if you want to get a really good game off of Steam. So good. It holds up really well with age. It is just so much fun. I love that game. Now that's like kind of like Stormtrooper type of deal? or um, You can play as a lot of people. You can play as the droids. You can play as the um, clone troopers, stormtroopers. You can play as uh, the rebels. So you can play in either the prequels or the original trilogy. Um, there's a lot of different settings. It's a first person shooter. It's very strategy based. Uh, and then you can activate a bonus where you actually play as like a special character from the movie where you actually get to use like Jedi powers or you'll play as Boba Fett and use your flamethrower. And it's just, it's set up, it's set up beautifully and there's a lot of strategy to it. Like there's been points where it's been just me against like 40 other people and I've just bunkered down in a little uh, sniper point and taken them all out one by one. Uh, you camped it up. I camped it up, but what was I going to do? <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, now, the, the Star Wars games that I remember as a kid, uh, I'm not sure. Do you remember any of the NES games? I don't remember the NES games. I remember Super Star Wars, and that was great. That yeah, was there- really hard, but that was great. There was a Star Wars game for the NES. Uh, I think at the end of the first or second level, you go against Darth Vader. And in the middle of hitting Darth Vader, like halfway down when his power bar goes down, he turns into a scorpion. I think I've seen footage of this, and it was ridiculous. And, like, later on in the game, Darth Vader also turns into, like, a shark. And, like, like... I, I I must have missed these parts of the movie. Like, yeah, I, I don't even. This is really cool. I love the way he did the fire. Yeah, and it kind of looked the like warp. he was flying through it. Yeah. Yeah, I just think the uh, the custom blocks are great. And I think the, uh, the fact that now... I don't know if you've been watching the updates, Vera, but now you can ride the uh, custom blocks if they're moving I've on the conveyor. Yes, I have seen that. So, I mean, now you're going to be able to, you know, fully build this right here and then place down some conveyors around it and just ride around and see your whole world on one cart. That's awesome. Yeah, only thing I will say is the carts, uh, you know, so the game doesn't get overloaded with uh, blocks just spamming themselves. If they do spawn out of a factory like the uh, carts will, the